Hola everyone, JB Thrills here, back with another video. As you saw from the title of today's video, I'm bringing back the What If series on my channel. The video series sort of died in 2020, but I realized it was a good idea and I should bring it back. Therefore I did, and today we're talking about the possibility of Judge Race Cream getting removed, and what could replace it. Shoutouts to everyone who participated in the vote of the video. Before we talk about this new universe where Judge Scream doesn't exist though, if you're new to this channel, and you like my content, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to know when new videos come out on my channel. I upload videos every Monday, and they all range from over Texas videos, to Knott's Berry Farm videos, to any theme park or thrill in general. But I guarantee, there's something for everyone on this channel, so consider sticking around. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into today's video. So recently, I've seen lots of comments on my videos talking about what if Judge Scream got removed. And it's actually one of my ideas too. The reason why is because Judge Scream is considered one of the roughest coasters in the park. Sure, it has its moments, but it's not top quality, and the airtime is not always. I love Six Flags Over Texas history, and I understand the importance of this coaster in the park, but really, it's not good. And give it a few years, and it can honestly get worse. And these ideas are not coming from coaster enthusiasts. In fact, it's a mix of GPs and coaster enthusiasts. On my last ride of Judge Scream, I came off, and this person who has never been to Over Texas before said, and I quote, Man, this coaster is painful. They should tear it down. I'm not even kidding, that's exactly what they said. So obviously, that gives you an idea of what Judge's Cream is. And that leaves Six Plus with only two options, fixing it or removing it. And I'd say it's totally up for removal, because the coaster is outdated, not many people ride it, and eventually it will cost a lot to fix. Luckily, at the moment it won't get removed. But let's say it did. What if Judge's Cream got removed? What will replace it, if it got replaced, and what could possibly go in the land of Judge's Cream? So today, we're exploring that idea further, and imagining a world where Judge's Cream is long gone, and finding the perfect successor for it. Because who knows, this could happen in the future. Might as well prepare, right? So I have some different scenarios and options in case Judge's Cream got removed, and I'll be sharing all of them, as well as showing my favorite and what I think will be the most likely to happen at the end of the video. So let's start off with scenario 1. In scenario 1, we're faced with the task of either removing Judge Scream or keeping it. But luckily, Six Flags is smart, and they realize that they don't have to destroy Judge Scream, and in fact can make a reboot for the coaster that can satisfy all parties. The ones who hate Judge Scream, and the ones who love Judge Scream. So what's the conclusion? A GCI remodel. After riding the amazing Ghost Rider and Apocalypse on my trip to California, I now realize how good GCI really is. And now that I know they can do conversions, then the perfect next project for a conversion is definitely Judge Ray's Cream. By doing this, it'll fix the roughness problem because then GCI will make the coaster smooth, making the coaster more enjoyable. But knowing GCI, they won't just make the coaster smoother, they'll definitely upgrade it or reboot it. They can do this by adding new elements to the coaster. Maybe instead of a simple out and back layout, it'll still be out and back, but then the coaster can intertwine under and over itself, allowing for more extremeness and more head chopper effects as well as making the coaster look amazing. An example of what this would look like is putting two ropes side by side and then intertwining them, making a sort of spiral. The coaster can do the same by intertwining the forward and backward part of the track, allowing you to go under and over the track again and again. Then at the last turn, instead of a normal turnaround, it can be a brand new bank turn, which would be really cool. Then one more good idea is that at the end of the attraction, maybe you go into a tunnel with lights and everything, which is usually what GCI does. But the point is, if Judge Scream's time ran out, and they chose to remodel rather than remove. GCI is a perfect candidate for fixing up this classic coaster, but they're not the only one. In this scenario, Over Texas is deciding which company is perfect for fixing Georgia Scream, because of course they don't want to remove it. But then they realize they have a company that they've already been working with, and on top of that, they're cheap. Which leads to a scenario where RMC is hired to fix Georgia Scream. Now I know, this sounds impossible, because we already have an RMC, and it's not just a regular RMC like a Raptor, we already have a hybrid. So if RMC made a hybrid of Judge Scream, it wouldn't make sense, right? Because then we have clones of each other. But actually, that's where you're wrong. Over Texas knows that we already have New Texas Giant. So when it comes to making the Judge Scream hybrid, they're gonna make it unique and different, so that way people can't compare the two coasters and say they're the same. So what's the solution? Well, there's two. The first solution is introducing a brand new RMC model which is the RMC Hybrid Family Coaster. Remember, Judge Scream is a family coaster, 
So by tearing it down and putting an extreme coaster, we're lacking a family coaster. So by replacing your dish cream with another family coaster, it'll be a perfect successor for the ride. And it's even better when it's a never before seen RMC model, because then Over Texas gets the clout. They'll get to market it as the world's first RMC family coaster. And doesn't it seem appropriate for Over Texas, which is the one that got the first RMC, to get another world's first RMC? It just makes sense. It also brings a new experience for kids, because now they can work themselves up to ride New Texas Giant, which is the more extreme version of the family coaster. But while an RMC family coaster is nice, it's not the only option. The second option is an RMC dueling coaster, just like Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain. The land of JoJo's Cream is very plentiful, so they definitely have room for a dueling coaster. And again, they can still have the family coaster aspect, but it'll be even better if they make it dual, because again, a unique experience different than Texas Giant. They can also add inversions to it, which is different than New Texas Giant because New Texas Giant has zero inversions. So overall, a new RMC hybrid, whether it's a dueling coaster or family coaster, would be a good solution because it makes the coaster much smoother, allows for new elements, and upgrades Judge Scream in a better way. But what if Six Flags didn't want to convert it? What'll that look like? So let's say Over Texas wanted to remove it entirely. They just knew the coaster's time was up, and they wanted to give something entirely new and not similar. What would they do? Well, there's a few candidates for replacements. Obviously, to replace your Cream, they need a coaster that can stand out and make people want to come to Over Texas. The coaster needs to be iconic and make the park stand out. So with that said, here are the candidates. The first candidate is the Axis Coaster. And I know everyone always suggests this, but really, it's a good option because the Axis Coaster is secretly a family coaster in disguise, with there not being a giant height limit for people to ride and it not being that extreme, even though it's very thrilling. So if Jojo's Scream got removed, they would have lots of room for an Axis coaster, and it could have its own custom layout, and would definitely be iconic for the park. And while this coaster will have absolutely no similarity to Jojo's Scream, it can be its own thing, and they can turn the area of Jojo's Scream into a new land, maybe even a steampunk themed land, which fits this coaster perfectly. Also what I find funny is that in the animation, the Axis coaster is right against the water, which kind of gives the idea of what the Axis coaster would look like in Jojo's Scream's plot of land. But anyways, the next option is a premier dueling coaster. A dueling coaster would definitely be iconic for Over Texas and would definitely stand out. Plus adding it in the spot of Jojo's Scream, that'll be the first thing everyone sees when they come into the park, which will look amazing. So I think a high speed premier dueling launch coaster like West Coast Racers at Magic Mountain would definitely be a good option to replace Jojo's Scream. And it technically can be a family coaster, since it won't be too extreme. And for our last candidate, while it's not really a family coaster, I kinda wanted to include it anyway because it's kind of an icon, and that's a BNM dive. Now honestly, I don't want a BNM dive to replace Jojo's Scream, especially since Fiesta already has a BNM dive and it's just too similar. But if they manage to make it different, then I'll accept it. But I'd say out of all of these, I would rather prefer the Axis Coaster. But anyways, now that we talked about all the scenarios, it's time to decide which one would be the best and which one would be the most accurate in the case that Judge's Cream got removed in the future. So starting off with the best scenario, I think it'll be better for a GCI refurbishment of Judge's Scream. GCI really knows what they're doing and they could turn this old classic Woody into something new again. Plus, this can keep the wooden coaster status in the park, and it'll satisfy the people who want to keep Georgia's Cream and also want to remove it. And as for most likely to happen, it's either the GCI refurbishment or the complete removal of the coaster for something else. While the RMC family coaster will be nice, it's very unlikely because of course we have New Texas Giant, but I also wouldn't be surprised if it actually happened. And again, Georgia's Cream is not confirmed to be removed. It is still in the park, and it'll continue to be in the park for a long time. But that's what if Georgia's Cream got removed. What do you think, and what's the best solution to fix Judge's Cream's issues? Comment down below. But anyways, thank you for watching, this is JB Thrills, signing out.